Marsha, right now, Mark Greenberg is out of jail on bond, but his time as a free man may be coming to an end. That's because this afternoon here at the federal building, he struck a plea deal that could put him behind bars for up to two years. Mark Greenberg makes a quick exit out of the federal courthouse, avoiding the cameras and all questions. Mr. Greenberg, do you have anything to say to the parents or teachers who trusted you? But moments before in court, he was forced to speak up. Our cameras weren't allowed in, but during the 50-minute long proceeding, the attorney and former CJ girls basketball coach admitted to breaking the law. Greenberg pleaded guilty to possession of child pornography and transfer of obscene material. The U.S. attorney handling the case says Greenberg used his home and office computers to send sexually explicit photos of himself to three people he thought were 12 and 13 year old girls. In reality, the recipients were undercover officers with the New York State Police, the Naval Criminal Investigation Service, and an FBI agent in Detroit. Officials say they also found 16 images of child pornography on Greenberg's computer. As part of the plea agreement, U.S. attorneys recommended a two-year prison sentence as well as sex offender classification. Well, I think that uh, what was paramount given that set of circumstances here, as it is with anyone who, who um, uh, commits this offense, is the requirement that they register. Uh, I, I would assume that he had a, a, a bright uh, basketball future uh, before him. And uh, if he's um, uh, committing the offense of child pornography, he'll have access to minors. That was a paramount concern for us. Gary A. says the sex offender classification will serve as a safeguard to the community. But she insists that's not enough. Parents and school officials must stay vigilant. If you look at... Uh, uh, his chats, he represented that he was an 18-year-old, he represented that he was a 31-year-old from Pennsylvania, and uh, it, 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 there's a, the cloak of the Internet is a dangerous place. Now, it should also be noted that according to the state Supreme Court's website, Greenberg's, Greenberg's law license is inactive, meaning he can't practice in Ohio. Now, he is expected back in federal court on November 5th for sentencing. Reporting live downtown, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.